All right, boy, chosen man. Like, subscribe, join the reaction. If not, friend up. If you are trash, let's get to it, man. That nigga said, ugh. Ah, damn, what the fuck? <laughs> nigga, nigga coughed on the beat. Nigga was clearing his throat. This nigga had a common cold. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, homie trying to signal you? Hey, don't, it's wrong with you. <laughs> yeah, my dumb ass. I need a better signal. <laughs> nigga, uh -huh. You want a cough drop, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, bro, I swear, bro, I thought this was Scarecrow from Batman. Nigga, I was like, I got Batman villain on the drill beat. This nigga, this nigga got a Gotham Hood track coming out. Nigga, I was gonna say this is crazy. <laughs> J'aime shooter comme dans le pantalon, on dit qu'il a le talent pour as. Il, il, il a le talent pour as, on dit qu'il a le talent pour as. Y'a pas de papa, maman ou de conscience, on dit qu'il a le talent pour as. On dit qu'il a le talent pour as. Il a le talent pour as. Pas de famille et demi. Yo, they just robbed that nigga eating food? Damn. And broad daylight? Damn. Nigga, they just took this nigga cigarette? <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Uh, that's a different type of jacket. <laughs> Yo, they really just took this nigga whole sick. That's crazy. I have never seen a nigga rob for a cigarette. That is a cigarette, a whatever he had. Tobacco, I've never seen that before. Nigga run up on him while he eating food. That's crazy. You can't even respond. Like the lady getting Jack was like, "Yo, we seen that in like comic book movies and movies since we were like, that's since the nineteen hundreds." You know what I'm saying? But like, <laughs> bro, eating food outside, yo, <laughs> Rob, that's crazy. Damn. Does the restaurant still want their money? Nigga, I just got robbed. They ain't got no money for you, folks. <laughs> Damn, nigga probably had to wash dishes. That's tough, bro. Fan billet de Milan, cache une balle, à lui tu parles pas d'âge. Un bras conservé dans la glace, y'a pas de trace, il a le talent pour as. À 15 ans, sa première fois, les grands disent qu'il a le talent pour as. Première fois qu'il ressent son cœur battre, première fois qu'il fait péter un trône. Priorité au direct, la tremblement de terre. D'abord, cette explosion. Nah, this is crazy, I ain't gonna lie, this is definitely, this is some wild stuff, bro. This is some wild stuff, bro. This is definitely like, uh, she's just saying like the trailer for a netflix uh show god like this is wild wildin bro damn this nigga i know this nigga damn he leveled up so like the higher you get in the field the more clothing you get like they went from hoodies to like leather jackets so like that's that was this nigga training art like that's the level up like, that's what happened. That's when you know you made it. A leather jacket. Mm. So I gotta, I gotta, so I gotta see like which level of the street nigga is on. Like if he got a t-shirt, if he got a hoodie, and if he got a leather jacket. A nigga with a leather jacket, he wild. Okay. Taking notes. Yeah, this nigga got a leather jacket on, bro. This nigga upgraded. It's crazy. Damn. Damn. First off, this nigga's trash, bro. <laughs> this nigga's garbage. <laughs> bro, he might as well just stay down, bro. First off, he mad as hell. Look at this. It's that uncle body. Yeah, nigga. He the uncle that always got a new girl every every family gather, for sure. And then he only, all he got to say to you is, "Damn, look how big you got." Now what? How tall are you now? Yep, that's that nigga. Um, but this dude right here is trash. What? What was that? What, bro, you might as well stay down, bro. 
This nigga tapped him on the back of his. What's he gonna do? I got him. Like, bro, what was that? What? <laughs> what was this? This nigga thought he was playing tag. Bro, look at this. Look at this nigga. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Nigga said, "Hey, stop what you're doing. You don't really need. You don't really want to do this. It's okay. Just drop the gun. Go ahead and leave." What was that? You deserve to get knocked out, nigga. You might as well stay down. He might as well stay down. That was awful. This nigga was the only person. He he was the only one that thought he was playing tag. That was crazy. I definitely get it. You know, they're telling the story about, uh, you know, French uh, hoods. And, and this is how, like, the story is worldwide, bro. Everybody just starts out. They just want to make money, bro. And it's like, what, you got to do whatever it takes to make money. You know what I mean? It's the story of life, bro. Yeah, when you're young, bro, you're young and impressionable. So you think not only is this all you got, this is all you got to make it out, but... uh. Y'all not really like real repercussions. You think you're invincible when you're young. Like, you don't even think about going to jail for 20, 30 years, the rest of your life. You don't think that far ahead. Like, so. But then he robbed a nigga without a mask or nothing, though. That's why. That's why. I ain't lying to you. And then the question also is that people should ask themselves, I mean, is he really a tough guy? That him using guns just to kill people, does that really make him a tough guy? Really make him a man? Some people think it does, man. That's the tough part out here. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm rocking with the song. The song sounds amazing. Obviously, I have absolutely no idea what this nigga's saying. Um, but, uh, you know, context clues. Uh, I, I pass English pretty high. <laughs> would it be? Would it be? So, I think my English teacher would be proud with my context clues and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> but... <coughs> Nah, it's interesting. I don't really got many jokes for this one. But I do love like the whole thing. Like he looks like a scarecrow. He had the crows to represent death. Um, death and violence, which he's rapping about. So this whole music video looks pretty fire, and I see a lot went into it, especially with the themes and things of that nature. So um, I do rock with this, and uh, you yeah, know, this is good. This is good. This is good. I'm rocking with it. I remember uh, reminding me of uh, the song "Thrive" by This Is Thrive. It's called "This Is Sweden," and it was it was speaking a lot too. So. Damn, ended up taking out the guy that, you know what I'm saying, brought him in. That's how the, that's how the, that's how the life is, man. Uh, I gotta say, I definitely, uh, rock with this, um, in general. Um, I appreciate them keeping the book about the life, um, cause drill music does sound, it does sound cool. I ain't gonna lie to, the songs do be sounding hard, that's the worst part. Like, they be r rapping about some wild stuff, but it sound good. But it's not a good life, like, <laughs> I think, uh, we talking about UK, I think Digga D got, like, hurt, stat in the eye or something, like, 
it's not a it's not a good time. Like like if you're talking about US, uh even going back to like fifty cent, fifty cent got shot nine times, nigga. Like that's not like that's not like not like that's not a fun time. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Um and and some UK people have been rapping about like going to jail and like smuggling drugs in their butts and stuff, like Bro, that's not a good time. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I like when somebody raps more about, like, the real life and speaks about um, how it is and stuff like that. Um, so, I appreciate this from him. A uh, shout-out, uh, Zyke. Zyke? hope I'm saying his name right. Um, but it's your boy Chosen, man. Like, subscribe, and enjoy the reaction. Uh, turn post notifications on. Please let me know what should I react to next, man. I always like to show the French drill wave. Like, reacting to them. Um, I've been lacking, so I did a couple French drill songs today. Uh, but yeah, man, it's your boy Chosen, man. I'm out.